Assalamu alaikum everybody. So today we're going to demonstrate you how to make these delicious uh, aubergine, potato and chili pakoras. Uh, so stay tuned with us. We will give you a step-by-step -step guide and some tips as to how to make them and how to make them also better compared to you know your average takeaways uh, so please share like subscribe and please don't forget to hit the bell icon notification button and without any further ado let's get into it for the first type of pakora we're going to need fish so of course we're going to make fish pakoras out of fish then for the second type of pakora which is mushroom pakora we're going to need mushrooms of course then we're going to make some uh, eggplant pakora or aubergine pakora then some potato pakora and finally the veg pakora for which we're going to need both uh, um, onions and uh, spinach and as an extra added bonus we're also going to show you how to make uh, uh, chili pakora and to garnish it all at the end we're going to need a little bit of parsley so we will start by making our batter for our pakoras so the batter we will need two and a half cups of chickpea flour we will need water of course we will need uh, one tablespoon of uh, fenugreek leaves uh, which we will add so the following spices are all one teaspoon uh, Kashmiri red chili, regular red chili, uh, masala, coriander powder, uh, cumin powder, uh, turmeric powder, uh, chaat masala, and then we will need half a teaspoon of uh, um, black pepper, two teaspoons of chili flakes, two teaspoons of uh, coriander seeds, two teaspoons of uh, salt. Uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of food coloring and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda uh, we're, ju we're just gonna mix them mix them up here and add them to our dry batter and we'll add them like so so we're just gonna mix the dry ingredients together very well once that's been achieved, we will start by adding our water. So we we'll add a little bit and mix a little bit and mix. Make sure you don't have any lumps. Add a bit more and mix. So as you can see our batter is ready I added just enough water uh, until my batter started resembling the consistency of wet paint or uh, or the consistency of a cake batter now we will move over to our vegetables as you can see we've got our uh, aubergine cut you know lengthwise like so and our potatoes cut lengthwise about two millimeters or three millimeters in thickness like so as well as our chilies make sure you make a small incision in your chili so that the air can escape through through it otherwise it will burst in the deep fryer so i think our frying oil is finally hot enough we can test it by adding a little bit of batter in there so as you can see the batter rises at the top immediately and we will start by taking our slices of aubergine and dipping them in our batter like so make sure you get the excess batter off so you know just beat the slice of aubergine on the side of your bowl like so just slowly and gently lower it into the oil like so and re keep repeating it with the rest of your aubergine slices lower it like so 
away from you. And there goes the third slice. So as you can see our aubergine pakoras are finally ready. So we're gonna fish them out. And place them in here. So once you've finished frying your aubergine pakoras, we'll move on to frying our um, potato pakoras. So take one of your potato slices, take your batter, plop it in there, both sides, you know, make sure everything is coated very well. And once you achieve that, you know, just beat it against the side, trying to make sure to get as much of the batter off as possible. Once you've achieved that, gently lower it into your frying oil and repeat it with the rest of your potatoes. While we're at it, I'm also going to show you how to make the chili pakoras. So it's very easy, just take your chili pakora, roll it in your batter, like so. Take it out, make sure you've got any excess batter off it. So when only a light coating of batter remains, repeat the same step, bring it here, gently move it around and lower it into your oil. Finally, our uh, potato, aubergine and chili pakoras are finally ready. As you can see at the back here, we've got our um, aubergine pakoras. In the middle here we've got our potato pakoras and right at the front we've got our chili pakoras and we have a lovely uh, yogurt and mint and parsley based dip on the right side here to accompany our pakoras and uh, these pakoras are amazing are delightful they're delicious and they are the perfect uh, dish to open your iftar with so this is our first platter of pakoras. As you remember at the beginning of the video, we promised you that we would show you how to make the fish and the mushroom pakoras as well. So that is going to be our next platter. So now we're going to teach you how to make fish pakora. For fish pakora, we're going to need about a cup of flour, the juice of one lemon, half a cup of cornstarch, one teaspoon of dried parsley, half a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground turmeric powder, one teaspoon of crushed garlic, two finely chopped green chilies, and a whole egg. So we're going to need about 750 grams of white fish, that could be cod, haddock, we're using basa. So we're going to start by adding, you know, the juice of one lemon. Once we've added that, we'll add in the spice mix. So just mix the spices really well. And, you know, dump them right in. Once that's been added, we'll add in our uh, garlic and chili. So just grab them like so with your fingers and on to then we'll crack in a whole egg then that followed by the cornstarch now to this we'll add about half of our flour so as I said before we have a cup of flour we'll add half of it in and we'll add more if needed so we'll start by mixing this mix with our hands try to be gentle you don't want to break up the fish so as you can see our um, fish is ready 
now we will leave this to marinate for about 10 to 15 minutes or however long it takes um, in the meanwhile uh, we will focus on preparing the batter for our uh, mushroom pakora so we'll put this aside and you know here we have about two cups of chickpea flour to this we're going to add our spices which are one teaspoon of salt one teaspoon of dried parsley a quarter of a teaspoon bicarbonate of soda half a teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder one teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder one teaspoon of red chili powder and one teaspoon of karoom seeds so we'll mix these and like so with our hand and just you know add them straight into our uh, chickpea flour firstly we are going to grab ourselves our, a whisk and mix in the dry ingredients very well once that's been done we'll dig a well in our flour like so and gently add water a little bit at a time and mix this in Again, we're trying to achieve the consistency of wet paint or the consistency of a cake batter. Okay, so just like with the aubergine and potato pakoras, grab yourself a mushroom, dip it in your batter, like so. Make sure you coat it all the way around. Remove it, shake off any excess, beat it against the side of the bowl to make sure you only have a light coating of batter. And once you've made sure that excess batter has been removed, just gently lower it into your hot oil. As you can see, we've already added one uh, mushroom pakora in it. I did that just for testing purposes. Now I'm going to add the rest in. As you can see, I've added all the mushrooms in uh, my frying pot. And as you can see, they're frying away. Now again, as with the potato and the aubergine pakoras, we want to fry them until they are golden brown and at that point just remove them from the oil. So as you can see our mushroom pakoras are finally ready. All it's left to do is to remove them from the oil. Just using a tongue remove them from the oil and put them on a um, baking tray lined with a wire rack. So while our uh, mushroom pakoras are cooling down and our fish pakora or our fish is marinating over here, we'll show you how to make the veg pakora mix. So for this, we'll start by adding the uh, onions. So we've got here two large onions chopped lengthwise to which we've added about uh, three uh, finely chopped chilies, green chilies that is. So we'll add these in, spinach, A bunch of parsley, you know, roughly chopped. One tablespoon of fenugreek leaves, dried spices, for which we have two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, two teaspoon of crushed uh, coriander seeds, a half a teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder, one teaspoon of chat masala, two teaspoons of crushed um, chili flakes, half a teaspoon of food coloring, and a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. So again, with our fingers, we're gonna mix these in, like so, and then add them to our bowl. To this, finally, we're going to add one cup of uh, chickpea flour. So we're gonna add it straight in. There we go. Now we're gonna start mixing this by hand, 
and we're going to add water if needed. So um, for me one cup turned out less so I added another half cup of chickpea flour. So I'm going to mix this in well as well and if your batter is too dry we're going to add a little bit of water in which it probably is so we're going to add the water just a touch of water now one tip is you know the hot oil you have you can add your um pakora mix that will make your pakoras extra crispy so i'll show you right now so grab yourself a tablespoon and you know let's add two so we we'll grab one one tablespoon of hot oil going in and another tablespoon of hot oil going in now this will make our batter extra crispy okay so our oil again is hot we've got our veg pakora batter over here we're gonna try to make you know a medium sized little bowls in our hands you know not too big not too small try to make them as round as possible like so and gently drop them in in your hot oil now be careful you don't want to burn yourself So our green veg pakoras are finally ready. You see, they're firmed up, they're crispy, crunchy. Now it's finally time to fish them out. So with a big spider spoon or spider slotted spoon, whatever, I'm just gonna, you know, take out as many as I can in one go. Our green veg pakoras based on onions and spinach are finally ready. Here they are on a rack. They're cooling down. We're going to show you how to fry your fish pakoras. So as you can see, our fish is well and marinated, coated with the beautiful, you know, batter. And now, again, just like with the previous pakoras, we're going to grab one. This time, no need to shake off any excess. Just gently lower it into your hot oil. And do the same with the rest of your fish bits. So this is the color we're looking for for our fish pakoras. As you can see they're nice golden brown. It's time to fish them out. You can hear the sound of crispiness. This is all due to the corn uh, stock and the flour that made the fish extremely crispy. You can hear it by rubbing against the metal of the uh, spider spoon. Finally, our fish pakoras are out of the fryer on the wire rack. As you can see, they look lovely, beautiful, golden brown. And yeah, that's about it. That was the final and last pakora that we promised to show you. So as you can see on one side here on the right we've got our veg pakoras based on 
onions and spinach the color of these pakoras is so green because i chopped up the spinach so its color would leak in into the batter therefore making the whole pakora green you know it looks much nicer now then on the left back here we've got our fish pakora you can see golden brown beautiful uh, crispy crunchy and on the right front here we've got our beautiful mushroom pakoras here look at them they are soft inside crunchy outside just like we like them and in the middle we've got a beautiful green chutney based on mint parsley tomatoes a little bit of garlic salt and yeah and again you can you eat these pakoras with the chutney the yogurt based chutney or ketchup or mayo or whatever uh, sauce or chutney you prefer but uh, that's our ch uh, recommendation as you know uh, chutney and yeah that's about it so this is it from me well done Allah Hafiz.